Hi, welcome back to the studio. I'm opening up my Jack Richardson watercolors. And I'm going to paint a sky today. I'm going to paint a sky today. I'm going to put down some water. I'm going to put down some yellow or orange. I'm going to bring that up. A little higher. I'm going to put some blue at the top. And some more red to it. Just putting in some color. And that gives it a nice kind of violet look to it. And then down here, it's going to get lighter. I'm going to bring that color down into what will be the field. Got a lot of extra water here. I'm going to lift it up. Let's let it dry and see where we go from there. Okay. Hello, I'm back now. Just trying to get this straight. The next thing I'm going to do with this painting is I'm going to put the masking fluid down for the sun. And um, instead of drawing it, I don't want to have any uh, graphite lines there. I'm going to use a template and I'm going to use that to put my masking fluid down with a Q-tip. And it's going to be uh, this size. And I'm just going to, ooh, this is really thick, isn't it? This is the PBO stuff. Let's so stir that up a bit. Okay, so and I'll just put this on and then I won't have a line there. Now it's not a sharp line, but that's all right. It's going to be good. Good. Let's let that dry.
the masking fluid is dry, so I'm going to put in some more clouds here. Not too many. It's a little wet there, but it's all right. We'll just let it be. I'm going to put some kind of an orange. This is a lizard and crimson mixed with, with new gamboge. put this in. some red down here. Okay, let's let this dry up. Oh, wait. Let's, yeah, let's get that a little bit different there. Okay. I want it more red here. Okay, let's let that dry up and then we can proceed. I think some yellow needs to be put in here. Okay, that's better. Okay, let's let that dry. It's actually the next day and I'm back here. I want to come back. I need more red. I need a stronger red. This is alizarin crimson and you can see it's quite gray. So I'm going to come back hopefully with a more of a cadmium, more of a Windsor red. Well this isn't Windsor red. And I want to put some water down. Red here. I want more. Uh, 
Oh, there we go. That's a better color. I don't like that line there, though. Let's try to soften that up a bit. Okay, good. All right, now dry up. Okay, so let's let that dry. Bring some of that down here. This is going to be light. This is actually going to be red right there. Okay. Once again, I'm going to let it dry and uh, be back in a moment or two. Adjusting the painting here. It seems like painting always slides around a bit. Okay, I'm going to come back now and I want to put down the far the far hills I'm using lavender I'm going to put that color in I really recommend this for those of you who have mountains behind you mountains in your painting I'm going to put that in then. I believe I have some uh, Payne's Gray here. I'm going to put some edging to that. And to bring that down here, I need to. It's not really going to be as well this area over here I really don't have any plans for it probably have to cut it off it's just kind of extra the most and I'm going to drop some red in here I want to kind of have that yeah I want to have that be that way I think we'll see we'll see how that goes Maybe adding some blue in here to and let's bring hopefully bring this up a little bit more of a foreground. Back with the lavender. Not sure I like all that uh, blue I put in there. Do you ever change your mind? Yeah, well, that's a great thing about watercolor. You can just lift it on out, pretty much. All right. Let's let this dry. And then we'll, I think we'll put some trees here in the foreground. That's going to help things a lot, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. We're going to let this dry up and uh, see how things are. See, I've moved the paper a bit. All right, don't like that shape. Time to put some trees in. I've got out fresh Payne's Gray and Perylene Maroon. And I am going to add some, I don't know, kind of details here to my ground. Okay. 
kind of separate my foreground a bit more. I'm not sure that this background is all that good either yet, but that will be a different time, perhaps. Yeah, looks like I'm doing it right now. Let it be. It would have been better had I... Maybe what I should do is come back with, with some of my... Yeah, some of this right away. I also want to put some of it in here. I, won't, I don't want it to just be a um, line back here, so I'm putting in some, some little feeling of trees or something, just something to break up that line so it's not just such a boring line. We're going to, as I said initially, come back with the trees. Now this trunk has Going to ha it's going to have to have some more color to it. The edge can be dark. That's fine. Oops, that got. But I want to have some red. I want to have more red on my trunk because of all this red going on over here. So I'm charging red into the color I've already put down. And let's draw this out over this way. Maybe another tree over here. Ooh, that's an awfully thick trunk. Okay, picking up a smaller brush because I want some of these that into a tree too because it's too thick. I can lift it. There we go, better. Here I want to change this edge too. It's too boring. It's too uniform. some more of the dark paint and perhaps charge it in there. Coming back with the alizarin crimson. Got too much dark on here. It's going to make violet. I don't want violet. I want it to be more red. Yeah, that's better. 
Maybe some new gamboge. here lift this charge it a little bit yeah there we go maybe there'll be a tree here dead trees going on huh a little red that helps oops I wasn't watching what I was doing there okay and over here what's going to happen over here well maybe nothing I don't know Okay, I think that's going to be the painting so far. And I'm, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off that sun. Oh, wait, there's one other thing I want to do. I want to um, perhaps have it a little bit darker up here in the sky. Um, i got my dirty water going on here, but that's all right. I'm going to put a little bit of that sky color, this lavender, actually this is royal blue, it's almost exactly like the lavender, but I want to tone down that sky, the sky is too light up there, and I'm just going to paint some color in, kind of glaze it on top of what's there. It's okay if I'm going over this, these branches, I don't like them anyway. They're not very well done, I don't feel. So I'm just going to do that. And once that dries, I'll come back maybe with a bit more on top. Okay, last little bits here. Actually, I kind of like some of this um, feeling of softness back there. We'll add some of these back in. This is a little further away, but still, we need something going on here. It's a little messy, huh? It's all right. And I want to lift that. I started to take off the masking fluid here, but I want to soften this whole red area a little bit. Adding some of it out. Coming in with a little yellow. Actually, I guess the sun is a little high for what I want. Do I want to increase the horizon there?
Throw some red here. Let's just maybe put some red down here more. It's, I think it would make more sense if the just a little bit more red. Yeah. This is that alizarin crimson. Ooh, it's got blue in it. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's all right. We'll just. Wish it around. Soften it. Lift it. You know, that's a great thing. You just paint it until you're a little more satisfied. I don't know if I'm ever going to be satisfied with this painting. Stop goofing off. Just soften that edge a little bit. Lift out. And let's um, let us let it dry and take off that masking fluid. Can't wait. Of course, what do you know? I don't have the paint ran underneath there. It needs something softer on it. So we'll put some yellow there. A little yellow to kind of make it make more sense. There we go. That's the painting today. What do you think? I want to keep painting here. <laughs> That's the painting this week. Thanks for watching, and I hope you like this video. See you next time. Bye now.